Hi, everybody. I got some new stuff. I'm so excited. Okay, so on the Hatchet Hero or um, Disney Color by Number books, sometimes you get to outline your characters or the picture. So you go through a lot of black pens. I'm trying to open this. I know I have, well, duh, I have scissors sitting right here. Sometimes I wonder. So you go through a lot of black pens. And I don't really particularly care for the watercolor because it seems to, I don't know, disintegrates the paper, it seems like. So I went and got these. They're acrylic um, painter's pens. There's 12 of them. They should be all black because that's what I ordered, all black. And they're double-sided. Um, one is a brush. I like that. This is the first time I'm opening them, guys. So I don't, I'm looking at them first time just like you are. And a nib. So let's see. I don't know if y'all can see this paper right here. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, it's not a real hard, like, brush pen. It's not like, um, uh, I like the, like, the white plastic ones, but no, it's just a regular brush. And I'm pretty sure these are all the same size. It just says acrylic paint pen. It doesn't say. Yep, they're all the same size. Which is. Um, oh, it's not going to tell. I think I got. A one, maybe? I can't believe it doesn't say anything. Alright guys, I'll look it up and then uh, I'll put it in the comments on my on my video. But it says non-toxic, waterproof, massive coverage, write smoothly, UV protected. So they seem to work, dry fast, don't feel um, like chalky or nothing. So, um, yeah, got 12 of those. That should last for a little while. Um, I have a thing that I put my extra pens and stuff in. It's really cute. That's not it. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, so um, I keep like my extra gel pens or my extra markers or whatever's extra that I'm not using in here. It's just like a kid's school case. I have like these are my favorite gel pens. They're the dual um, hybrid metallic, dual hybrid metallic pens. They come in a pack of, uh, I think it's eight, maybe 10. Well, let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five. Six, 
southern. Where's my green one? Where's my green one? Okay, there's a green one. So that's the colors. The green, the black, the purple, the gold, the red, the silver, the blue, and the orange. That's the colors it comes with. So that's all you get. And they're like $15. But these are the best glitter pins you will ever buy in your entire life. <laughs> I love these things. Um, they sell them separately. So when you run out, you can... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Um, you can... buy more and you don't have to buy you know the whole pack i buy quantities like they have packs of 12 or packs of eight or packs of three or um so i buy quantities because i use them a lot and then i have extra arteza white gel pens they're 0.8 i have extra of those i use a lot of white and then now I have extra of my markers. I'll put two of them in here because I'll use those. Okay, so part of the haul that was part that was one thing. This is the next. Um, I ordered because that was my last blue. No, I think I have one more blue up there. Looks like I need to order green now. I knew I should have looked before I ordered. Oh, I'm trying to get them open, and they're, like, really stuck together. But this is just the the blue ones. And I ordered three of them because um, I couldn't find the bigger package of the blue. But that's okay. As long as I got some of them. This will give me my extra blues, so when I run out, I'll be good. And I don't have to worry about that. You know, because the worst thing to do is run out while you're doing a picture. It sucks. So, got that, and those are put away. Okay, the rest is books. Um, I went to do my shopping, and with the puppy, we uh, we just started leaving him by himself. So one thing at a time. But anyways, I did my um grocery shopping online and then we went to pick it up well I got this and it says sorry for the glare it's a Crayola mindful meditations it's a mandala book and I thought Crayola really I wonder what it's like so it wasn't very expensive I think I paid like five bucks for it um Excuse me. Um, it was five or it was either five sixty nine or seven sixty nine. Anyways, it wasn't very expensive. It's forty pages. There's the back of the book. Um, <laughs> I looked through it already, but not come like really, really looked through it. So. Figured I'd wait for you guys. So as I was going through it, ooh, hear that new book. <laughs> I love that sound. Okay. Let me scoot this over. So they the pictures are perforated. Um 
Now, this is amazing, okay? This is a Walmart book. It's Crayola, okay? But the paper is not what we call Amazon paper. It's not real thin. It's probably like a thinner cardstock. Um, but it's nice paper. It's smooth, but it's nice. And it's one-sided. So you can use markers. Um, you can use watercolors because this paper will hold up on watercolor. You can use acrylic paint markers. You can use gel pens, pencils. I think this paper will take anything. So, and the mandalas are really actually quite cool. Okay, we're not going to spend a lot of time on each page because I have a lot to go through. That one's kind of cool. It reminds me of water, like wavy waters. So yeah, I like doing mandalas. They're very um, relaxing. That's kind of cute. I like that one. You know, when you just want to just kind of do some coloring and not, you don't want to shade or you don't want to um, plan out your picture. Some people do, I don't, but um, I still, you know, say, geez, do I want to do this in blue? Do I want to do this? With a mandala, there's really... You can't go wrong on, a, on anything, really. But a mandala, you can just slap any colors down there and it's going to look good. I like to challenge myself. Sometimes I'll go and just, like, you know, close my eyes and pick whatever medium I'm using. I'll just use, like, two of them. And whatever I pick, that's what I use. So, um, yep, it's, uh, I used to do that on a lot of uh, Facebook groups, challenges and stuff, you know. I think they're still doing it. I think they call it the three, three marker challenge or something. But, yeah, you just, I like to try to do it with two or, you know, pick out like a, strange colors i'll say to my husband honey pick two colors and he'll pick two colors and that's the colors i use so mm -hmm. or you know pick two colors that you wouldn't think like um like a purple and an olive green i mean Really, olive green. You don't use olive green much, but you know, putting it together in a mandala, it might look pretty. Yep, I was pre totally impressed with the book. Um, now, mind you, it is a Crayola Walmart book. I think these might be um, stock pictures. I'm not sure. I'm going to look here in a second. Um, oh my goodness. A sticker in here upside down. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Okay, let's see. Okay, it just says Crayola Company. Tells you to enjoy your coloring. So, yeah, there's not a 
which I didn't expect there to be, but I don't see an artist anywhere or I mean, of course, there it's Crayola that's publishing it. Sustainable Forestry Innovative Certified Sourcing. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know, but anyways, it's cool. I don't care. I like the pictures, so <clears throat> it is what it is. Okay, so now we got that one. Let's put this over here. Well, my dog's coming inside. I don't want him to get his friggin', he's got a wet nose all the time. I don't want his nose on my book. Okay. So this one this Amazon. I just thought it was really adorable. But I got it kind of sight unseen. So when I got it yesterday these came in yesterday. I kind of zipped through it a little bit, but I didn't really like look, look. So let's cross our fingers. Okay. Here's the back. It's 40 images. Um, you can tell it's kind of a shiny thing. It's adorable, creepy monsters. Coloring book for adults and teens. Okay, you flip the cover and it goes right to the This Belongs To book page. And then it goes right on into the pages. Okay, so it's Amazon paper. Well, Oh, it might be a little thinner than the Amazon paper. I don't know. The paper feels really different, so I'm not sure. But um, for me, it's a coloring book. I can color in it. I've got tons of pencils. Something will work. So I'm not too worried about the paper. I'm not what they call a paper snob, I guess. Um, but... To most people, they would say the paper sucks, but it's okay. He's cute. I love his big eyes. Okay, it is got the black packing. You guys, this is really thin paper. <laughs> wow. Okay, um... Yeah, that's cute. Whoa. It's a happy fish. He looks like he just woke up from a bad hangover. <laughs> oh, how cute. Not a snake person, but really adorable. <laughs> Steampunk. E.T. phone home. Oh, Aw, how cute. That's really cool. Looks like a big old um, cotton ball. Yeah, 
Yeah, that one, that's all. I think that one I'd kind of stay my distance from. Yeah. That one too. <laughs> Only because, like, I don't want all the slime all over the place. so cute. Oh, mushroom head. So my take on it so far is I like the images. I do. I'm a little skeptical on the paper, and I'm not a paper snob, but eh, this is kind of, I don't think I've ever felt a book with this kind of paper in it before. And if I have, I've forgotten about it. Cause, I mean, it's not like it's not workable. You can, you know. It'll work. I'm not too worried about that, but you know, it's one sided. If you don't want to struggle with your pencils, you know, your markers will work. It will suck up the ink, but you know, the markers will work. Oh, how cool. She's having a bad hair day today. Aww. He's like, hide and seek, ready or not, here I come. <laughs> so I'm like, oh man, again. He's just too cute. Nope. I love the images. Asking for your opinion to do like the survey on Amazon. Yep. It's Amazon paper. There is... No um, artist, so I'm assuming it's either stock pages or what they call AI, I guess. But it's beautiful. It's, I love the pages, so I'm going to color it. I don't even see a publisher. That's all right. Like I said, I'll use it. Okay, this one I thought was super adorable. Um, it's Whimsical World, coloring book to create your masterpiece. That's the front. And this is the back. 
that's number in case you need it. Oh, let it focus. There you go. Okay, let's see. It looks like it showed you all the pictures and these little bitty picture things. I guess if you didn't want to color something like a big picture, you could color these. And then it's got all rights reserved. Um, this book belongs to... And it's got color test pages. Again, Amazon paper. And then into the pictures. They are lightly gray um, scale. Beautiful pictures. Or maybe I hope that's the little girl that lives there because you know if that's the woman of the house, how does she reach all this? Although she looks like she's a cat or something, she could probably climb up it. Oh, I've had dry mouth for like a couple days now. It's driving me crazy. Hmm. Interesting. Yep, I really like the paid, the pictures. Not a lot of detail, but enough that when you color it, it's going to be a very beautiful page. Mushroom house. Oh, this is pretty. I love the doorway. It's pretty. To me, these look like Hello Kitty things. <laughs> like, really? I think this got put in the wrong thing. I like this. It's cool. It's, I like that shelf. She's got her her pots going all around the top of the door. But you'd have to have a way to water those. That's a neat idea, though. I like that. The other day, you guys, I was at uh, Tractor Supply. And they had these um, lantern-looking 
lights that, you know, those lanterns that you used to take camping, you know, the uh, that your parents would stick a match in and it would, you know, light. Well, these were solar powered. They were so adorable. I almost got it. I almost got them. They were like fourteen ninety nine. The ones that I wanted, they were red. They were so pretty, so pretty. But it was, I could have gotten them, but at the time I was on a mission to do my groceries and the dog food and all that stuff, and that wasn't a priority at that point. So I decided to wait, but you watch. I'll go back to get it, and they'll be gone. <laughs> but they were really pretty. Well, this looks like Alice in Wonderland. Very nice book. Love the pictures. I love this. Oh. oh, this is cool. It says write down your favorite ex ex aspects of this book, which to me is silly. I mean, why would you do that? But um, and it says thank you for trusting us by purchasing our books. Um, let's see. Well, it says our books. Who's our books? We don't have. I hate it when they don't put the information inside of a book. Yeah, it just, again, there's nothing to say who it was published by. I mean, it probably is when you look at it to purchase it, but, well, so, yeah, I don't know. I can't tell anybody who it is if they don't put it on their book, right? Okay, the rest of the books are Happy Meal from a really good friend. Her and I have done a book swap. Hers is on the way. Mine just got here. So she's just a little faster than I am. Hi, Miss Taylor. We're going through a haul that I just did um, from Amazon. And now we're doing some Happy Meal from a friend of mine. She sent me... Magic Jars Coloring Book, Coloring Book Cafe. There's the back. Sorry, a little bit shiny. I'm trying to hurry because we have, well, we've only got three more books after this one. It's a bit of a haul. So this is through Coloring Book Cafe. Um, this book belongs to, it is Amazon Paper. Um, you can go to www.digitalbookcafe.com and get uh, digital versions. I don't, I don't do that because one, I don't have a printer anymore to print stuff off. Mine decided it didn't want to work anymore. 
And then I just prefer the actual book anyways. So I'm going to go through these little ones kind of quickly. And then we get to the actual pictures, um, which I think they are super cute. They are slightly grayscaled. Now, remind you, this is a book about magical jars, so um, everything is going to be in a jar of some sort. Little frogs or toads. I don't know which ones. Honeybees. Oh, little mouse. <laughs> Snails. Snails and looks like raspberries. Me too. Me too. Ladybugs. Um, Taylor, since you're in here, I was going to show this later, but I can do it now. This is the page we were working on before. Um, I've gotten that far. And I'm going to try something new with the background. So that I will do online. Um, we might even try that today after we're done with the books just to see if it'll work. I just, I'm just so scared to do it because what if it doesn't? I'm going to ruin my page. But if it does, then we'll just fix it, won't we? <laughs> so it's been a um, busy couple days. We had to do our shopping and household things. And then I have to... Um, I'm two and a half to three hours away from my mother-in-law. Um, and, you know, she's 85 years old. So there are other relatives closer. But y'all know how things go sometimes. So I do her, I do her shopping um, remote. So I had to do her shopping and then... Um, we were putting our groceries away. And you know those kind of decent size uh, cans of Diddy More Beef Stew? We like those for lunch sometimes. Um, thank you very much, Taylor. So I was putting the cans away and one of them fell and I reached out and I caught it, but I didn't catch it. How do I say this? I didn't fully catch it. So it kind of hit my um, corner of my microwave and, um, oh my goodness, toaster oven. They're sitting on the counter. So it's somehow, you know, toaster ovens, they're kind of screwy sometimes. So it... I must have hit the timer thing on it, but it turned it on, and I was putting things away and dinking around, and I didn't feel like just messing with it, so I just unplugged them both. Figured I'd plug them back in and let it run through the timer when I was done. So, um, we got everything put away and um, decided that we were just going to take a breather for a few minutes so my husband sat down I sat down I forgot all about plugging them back in so um when was it was it that night or the next day I don't know but my husband went and plugged in the microwave he was going to heat something up and it started making this like sounds and we're like what in the hell 
and you open the door and it would quit. You'd shut the door and you're like, already? So we unplugged it, reset the plug, and figured, you know, there was, when you unplug it and plug it back in, it would reset it and stuff. But nope, didn't do it. And as we were trying to figure what it was, what happened, um, this thing's like making that noise. It evidently was the motor in it or something because it like got really hot and then just stopped. So I'm assuming there's the color chart. Um, thank you for purchasing. We are, we at Color It Cafe are committed to deliver the best coloring illustrations to our community. And we thank you for your support. Please visit our digital store at www.digitalbookcafe.com. Claim your free digital book at www.freecoloringbooklet.com. Find us on Instagram, find us on Facebook, find us on Amazon. Okay, and like I said, it is Amazon printed paper. And that is magical jars. Okay, now the reason we made these these coloring book swaps is because she's destashing. I have started my destashing. Um, it's kind of a yearly thing. What we are thinking about doing is her, myself, and another gal. Um, are thinking about doing a, like, a garage sale type of thing. Um, where we show you what we're destashing. You know, we'll, to do medium mail, medium mail is $4 and some odd cents per pound to mail. It's the cheapest way to mail coloring books, magazines, that type of thing. So, what we thought about doing is, yeah, you guys, I don't know, you might pay a dollar or 50 cents or something for this book, but you're going to have to realize if we ship you this book, it's going to cost you $5 in shipping and handling. So, we're thinking of what we're going to do because we can't pay shipping and handling. It's just, it's gotten to the point where things are so crazy. Um, creators can't pay for shipping and handling for giveaways and stuff anymore. It's just gotten way out of control. So we're going to so many books are going to be the like this is a pretty thick book so two of these it's going to be probably seven dollars shipping and handling maybe eight because it's pretty heavy um so yeah we just haven't figured out the details yet of how we're going to do it so you guys can get your books and not spend a lot of money but yet we're not going to the post office and getting there and saying, well, we thought that it was only going to cost five or six bucks, but it ends up costing us 20. We can't do that. So these are the details we're trying to work out. So once we work it out, then you guys will be able to, to do this. Okay, so this is Karen Myers. And this is the mystical lands of, yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> Hand-drawn pen and ink illustrations by Karen E. Myers. I love these books. 
I love, love, love these books. This is copyright, copyrighted in 2020. Um, I don't want to say, oh, oh, yeah, it is. It is Amazon paper. It just feels a little better than Amazon paper. Not a whole lot, though. Okay. It's got a whole thing here. And then it's got like a map of all the little spots. I'm pretty sure this is like a map to the places inside the book. I haven't had a chance to go through everything. Yep, there's Belle Blossom's cottage. Let's see, where is her cottage? Oh, maybe it's not on here. Does it say? Huh. Camp Moon Dust. Okay, so I have no idea what this is because so far the ones that I've showed aren't in here. <laughs> okay. Looks like they might be on the water and there's a bit of a like you can see a glare. Camp Moon Dust. <laughs> they got like a border around all the pages. That's really cool. Dreadmoor's Thicket. I like the names Earthhorn Villa. Grimly Sycamore. Hollow Wind Haunting. Mary Mushroom Meetup. Cool. Look at her cheeks.
Ooh, that'd be a, a lot of stairs to climb. Okay, this must be the second set of pages. Yep, it is. And then we have, whoop, kind of fast. Um, yep, just the very last page. That's the back of the book. And then we have the Christmas one, a myth, a mystical lands Christmas book three. This is Harvest Moon Wanderings, and this is okay. I'm not sure how they go in order. Yeah, I don't know. So this is the Christmas one. This is the back of the book. Now, mind you, these are very thick, you guys. They have um, two sets of pictures. So, you know, you can always color a set and then share a set. Or you can color both sets. It's your color. you don't like the first one, you can try again on the second one. And if you don't want to do it right away, you don't necessarily have to get rid of the book right away. But in a year, you might want to do, like, do that picture all over again. You might see it a whole different way. So you might not necessarily want to hurry up and jump and get rid of the book. You know, because you don't know what you're going to be wanting to do in a year from now. So, yeah, I would just, like, hang on to it and see. And, you know, maybe after a year or so, if you either run out of room or you just know you're never going to touch it again, then I'd consider passing it on and letting somebody else color the other half. You know, somebody that can't afford the books or... um just hasn't gotten around to getting the book or you know, who knows like I love these books and I just hadn't gotten them um Tammy was just stashing hers and yep we decided we were gonna swap books so that's what we did and yeah So that's that one. And then we have 
the mystical lands of yeah Kalindra or I don't know the search of the autumn secret the back of the book I want to get this one. I want to get this one. And I want to get this one. She has a lot of books, but, and they're really cool pictures, so. Um, so it's by Karen E. Myers. Again, there's like a lot in here, but it doesn't say. I'm thinking there's probably either 25 or oh, 24 intricate hand drawn illustrations are included, each appearing twice. Okay. So there's like 50 pages in the book. So they're pretty thick. They're not what I would call grayscaled, but they are the darker ink lines. Um, there are some... Like you can see at the top of the pumpkin, there's some little areas up there. They kind of show you where you, the shading would go, but I wouldn't call them grayscale, no. But they're very cool. Now, some of the pictures do have pretty intricate um, stones or leaves or, um, you know, some grass. So you'd have to have, you know, something pretty sharp, like a really sharp pencil or a... Um, extra fine tip on your marker um, to get into these spots, I would think. I mean, I'm not talented like most, but um, that's what I would think. There's a snake crawling across the floor. Yeah, I'm good. We won't be visiting her too much, will we? Okay, I think these are the second set of pictures. Yeah, see, some of these leaves are kind of tiny. There's some blueberries or something over there. So not all the pages have the real tiny spots, but I'd say most of them do. So if you have a hard time seeing small spots, um, go up to the dollar store. And that's what I do. And uh, get yourself a pair of the strongest you can stand to get of the <clears throat> eyeglasses up there, the magnifying glasses. And you shouldn't have a problem seeing anything to color with. You should be able to see all the small little tiny spots. 
Um, I use these for diamond painting and all my little areas, color by numbers. Okay, guys, so that's my haul, guys and gals, girls and boys. No, don't say that. It's not a girls and boys channel. Um, it's adults only. So that is my haul. I want this one to be for a picture. Actually, we'll probably do this. There we go. All right, so let's, uh, we went through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books and two um, mediums. So we did good. We did good. And only an hour. That's not bad. Okay, so I do want to color. Not sure I want to color in that, though. Let's do. Let's do one in here just to see how the paper works. Because I did tell you guys that the paper kind of sucked. So right now I have out my Crayola pencils. Crayola pencils are kind of a harder type pencil. Oh, this dry mouth thing is killing me. Okay, so let's do Okay, let's be a little different because I don't normally do this. Let's color this little dude. Um, let's use our um, color do we want to color him I know I have blue out I just don't know where I put it and for some reason I'm not seeing it Sorry, guys. I'm lazy. Okay, so we're going to use. Um, I have a hard time seeing the writing on here. It looks like Bluebell. And we're going to just kind of. Oh. Okay. I keep forgetting to do this, so I better take this. Do it so I don't forget. Always put a piece of um, paper behind it. Oh my goodness gracious. Because if you push, the marks will push into the other page. Or you could smear the ink on the other page since these do have. Oh, I thought they. Yep, they have a black background. So, again, we're using our Crayolas. And this is called Bluebell. We're just going to color this little guy and see how hard it is to use. Pencils on this paper. Going in with a very light hand. So 
So far the pencil's going down not too bad. So I know that they're going, to, oh, let's start that over again. They are going down with a light hand very nicely. But I'm not going to say that they're going to work great until I start to um, shade with them. And then if I can get them to blend and do all the things that they're supposed to do without me struggling too bad, then I'll say they work good on this paper. Okay. Now this is navy blue. We're just gonna do the lines here real quick. A little darker towards the inner line, and then bring it out. Sorry, I get a little sidetracked when I'm coloring. Just trying to concentrate on how these pencils are working in here. You see, I don't, unless it's something that's super, super noticeable. Um... I don't pay attention to it because 
I'm not going to change it. I'm not going to, you know, I've already colored in the book, so I'm not going to try to send it back. I'm not going to go out and buy a different set of pencils to see if they work in a $4 coloring book. Um, so, you know, I got to make it work with what I have. And so I don't really, unless it's super, super, oh my goodness, I can't do it type of thing. I never pay much attention. So I'm not used to telling somebody how pencils work on certain paper or what the pencils feel like because it feels like a pencil. Um, I know the Crayolas are harder pencils, but I have no idea what to compare them to. I mean, I have other pencils, and I probably could compare them to something, but um, it would only work for you and everybody else if I remembered what all my pencils felt like. And y'all, I have 30-some sets of pencils. I love you guys, but there ain't no way in hell I can tell you what every pencil feels like. Not gonna happen. I'm lucky if I can remember what I had for breakfast yesterday. Or today. Okay, so let's see what happens when I go back in with the lighter color. And we're still not putting, like, a lot of pressure, you know, we've, it's not completely light-handed, it's more of, um, like a medium-type pressure. Okay, so here's the scoop, you guys. Terrible paper. And even I'm not I'm not a paper snob, but I'm telling you, it's terrible paper. Um but you can make Crayolas work. I'm just sitting here and I'm showing you that they work. You don't have to have nothing fancy. You don't have to go out and buy special pencils. Um, if you don't have Crayolas, you know, you can go up to Walmart and buy a box of Crayola color pencils. If you buy the big set, you're going to spend a few bucks. If you buy a 24 pack, you get enough pencils to do whatever picture you want to do. And you're not going to spend a ton of money. So technically, this is the third layer of pencil. <laughs> Which, you know, I kind of almost beg to differ with that, but you know, for right now, that's what we're going to say. Because I would think, you know, every time you go down and then up and then down again, that'd be a layer. Well, you know, you do that a lot when you're coloring, but that's not what they say. So we're just going to 
we don't argue. We're going to just say, you know, this is our third layer. So I'm going to keep going and seeing how many layers. Well, I'm going to do another layer of both, but I'm not going to do another one after that. So. Darken this up a little. Please keep forgetting them online. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> Sorry, you guys. I get wrapped up into doing these things. I don't pay much attention. Alright, last layer. And we're going to put a little bit harder pressure because we want to kind of um, burnish, but not burnish, you know. Just, just a little bit harder. I say harder I don't mean you got to push so hard you end up killing your wrist or your thumb or your finger you know what I mean we'll just say harder pressure how's that I don't want you to go on and kill me yourself. <laughs> I 
they actually blended quite nicely on this paper. So in the back of the book, I've decided to start a new thing. Um, I'm going to take a post-it. I'm going to stick it in the back of the book and the last page, or that like the inner of the book cover. And give the Crayolas an A+. Plus which tells me that they were good in this book. So that way, when you all ask, I'll be able to say, well, I know Crayolas work really good in it because I used them. Okay, let's see, we'll do his, um, let's do the inside of his ears, kind of a bluish purple, how's that? To his um, I'm going to stick with this color. I like it. So we're going to go in with um. Now these are actually um, the Marco uh, pastel pencils. I was using those in another picture, so they're out with my Crayolas. And I keep them in the back of the Crayola um pencil case because it's a big pencil case so it holds more than what I had for Crayolas so I got 50 of these so I put them in with the Crayolas so you know if they're in there might as well use them right okay so now this is going to be the second set that we actually get to test. Okay, um, don't blend bad. Let's see what it does if I use my Prisma Blender. Okay, you got to watch the lines because they're so thick black ink that 
the blender kind of smears it, so got to be careful. <clears throat> but all right, those those don't work bad. Not bad. So let's do. Okay, so I think any of the harder pencils are going to work really good in here. Because I didn't have a problem blending any of these. do we want I think we're gonna do his eyes um let's do them let's do them green Okay, so going with the lighter green. This is what I prefer to do. I like to go in and blacken this up because to me it's just not black enough and I don't like the, I'd rather put in my own white spots. I just color right over these. Blacken this up. And this is a watercolor pen. So it's not like it hurts anything. Okay. 
and go in with the finer side and give this little guy some eyelashes. Okay, so now we will go in and, um, let's see, we'll use our Posca, because Posca goes over pencil better than the Arteza does, or the Jelly Roll. We'll put in a little like that. I'll put in my white line. My watercolor pen wasn't dry, so it's kind of bleeding through the Posca. Okay. So I kind of want to put, like, really tiny, fine white lines down in here. Because, and then I want to let it dry. And it's going to give it a... You know, when you look into your eyeballs, you can kind of see the reflection. That's kind of what this is going to do when I put on my glossy accents. So if you put any kind of like glossy accents or clear gel pen or anything like that and you put these, this is what I've learned. Now how it turns out, yeah, um, I've seen it turn out and I've seen it not turn out. So. We are going to give it a try. Okay. Let that dry. Wait, is this close? Thank you. I'm trying to deal with one hand and it's not being cooperative. Okay, so I told you guys about the microwave. So now I gotta go out and buy a new microwave. Um Hang on one second, you guys. I got to mute.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I just had to take a phone call. Okay, so why that's drying? Where's my pen? So we will try to write this in here without, I shouldn't have done it without do, going, making a mess. I don't know to put the date of when we got it. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Color do we want to do is toenails. We'll do those black. And we'll just do it with the water marker. We can do anything. Okay, and we'll give his tongue a little bit of a Over. Let's go in with a pale, and we'll go in with a darker red through the back. Can we give it a little bit of shadow in there? And we'll go back and let that water color dry for a minute. Now it's going to take overnight for that uh, um, glossy accents to dry. So I don't even... Pretend that'll be dry anytime soon. Uh oh, did I put that on backwards? I'm crooked. Got a piece of his hair. Do his going with the light.
going to go in with the medium next. And I'm going with the darker. Go right over that medium. We just wanted to do the medium just so we knew where we kind of wanted our dark to go. Oh, I just stuck my finger in the glossy accent. Oh. People don't pay attention to the things that I do. medium and I'm going to bring it out a little further and I'm going to go in with the light and color over all of it. And then we might have to go back over with the dark because it doesn't look like it showed up too well. So we'll just darken it up a little. I always go easy on the dark because I can always darken it up. I can't lighten the dark once I put it on here. darken but I can't lighten okay perfect 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 now let's give it a little bit of bling little bling bling I'll put some purple gel glitter pen. And these are dual metallic, so that means that the purple also has a bit of a little bit of blue in it. So when you turn it in the light, you'll get blue, purple, blue, purple, blue, purple. Which is perfect because he's a blue and purple little dude. That is my little mini horse. 
that you hear in the background. Bling, bling, yep. <laughs> I love bling. Okay, and then we're going to take some clear gel pen to jelly roll. And we're going to go over his, uh, do we want to go over his antlers or just his, um, yeah, let's do over his antlers. Because, you know, it is mystical, so his antlers hold some mystical powers, let's say. So we'll put some glitter in there and make them sparkle a little. All right, let's see if we can get up close so you guys can see. I don't have the other light turned on, so I'm hoping I can... Nope, oh, let it catch. Let me turn on my overhead light, you guys. Maybe that'll help. Hold on. gloomy day out so it's like trying to find enough light it's almost impossible sometimes okay so we have the we have the glossy accent eyeballs all right you see the glitter on his antlers and the blue purple on his hair And his little eyelashes. So when the glossy accent dries, I will put the to the rest of the effects for the eyes on there, but they gotta dry first. And then uh, he will be done. He's our little dude. This is our um, little Kim's coloring, Kim's creative coloring mascot. We're going to call him Casey. Kim's crafting, Kim's creative coloring. <laughs> yeah. Yep, so we'll call him Casey, so let's write that down. All right, guys. That's our little dude that we did. And I, this was all done with Crayola pencils and um, Marco pa um, pastels. So very cheap pencils. And it worked on the coloring book that I told you the paper was terrible. So that's I'm just that I, I did it for purposes of showing you that even if the paper is terrible it can be work done. So all right y'all that is our little dude for today. Oh should we give him some little grass to Give him a little grass that he, he'll be. We don't want him just standing out on nothing. So let's put a little grass down here. He 
He's standing in a little patch of grass. My dark green. I know I had a dark green. Am I missing it somewhere? Am I missing it somewhere? guys with a brand new pencil. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, I knew I had it out. I didn't think I was losing my mind. I'll put some little blades of grass. Now you guys can't draw worth a damn. So what we end up with. I'm not promising anything. <laughs> but I think we're on a roll. Because I think it's looking pretty darn good so far. We're just kind of winging it. We have a dog down the road, across the main road, that my little horse, my little dog can see. And the people don't really pay attention to their dog very much, so they just kind of let it roam. So I don't do that because, one, it's a mean road out there, and I love my dog. I don't want to see him turned into a doggy pancake. And I say it that way because I don't want to gross anybody out or hurt anybody's like feelings or anything. So I'm, I'm not making fun of it. I'm just trying to tell you that that's... We get a lot of traffic, especially semis and stuff, and they don't slow down for critters or animals or anything. So we keep ours, when we're not out there with them, we keep them chained up when he sees in the bathroom. So that's why you hear him barking, because he's going, I want to play, I want to play. Okay. So well, there we go. We have a blade of grass and we named him. All right, you guys. Y'all have a good day. Thank you for stopping by. Um, Taylor made. Thank you, honey. I hope you're having a great weekend. And we shall see you all on the next one. Bye, everybody. <laughs>